All right, guys, I'm back here with like a first 10 turns ogre video, um, just for a little, some tips and tricks. So a couple things, uh, I've already taken my first province. I'll just run through it quick, uh, through it real, real quick. Uh, fought the, dwarf, the first dwarf army here, killed them, got my hero, embedded my hero, fought this city, killed them. I sieged this city for two turns, killed them. I went over here, plopped down my camp, right here and then I'm recruiting some more units uh, I'm gonna I have 18 units right now I'm gonna take these two units that are in the camp I'm gonna take them out next turn and then I'm going to attack Blackstone Tower so let's get that ball rolling the first few turns as, as Scrag are pretty simple just recruit some nobblers and some ogres and just plow through the dwarves like, like it's nothing so now we take these units out. Okay. okay. My turn. Okay. I'll just hold this. Now what's important here is I'm, I'm going to sack this for a couple reasons. Uh, one reason is, is uh, well actually the main reason, is Scrag gets a big name at five victories called World Swallower. And I believe at this moment, I think I'm at, I want to say I'm at four victories right now. Because I fought one battle here, two cities... And then that was my fourth battle right there. So next turn, when I sack that city, when I sack that, or when I when I when I fight that city again and then occupy it, that will be my sixth, or sorry, my fifth battle. My it's also free XP. So and who doesn't like some free XP? Okay, upgrade that. That. No peace, only war. Also, I'm working towards this camp foraging tech, which I'll explain in a second. Okay, we attack Blackstone Tower, auto resolve, occupy. That unlocks my big name. So if we go into Scrag's big name, boom. Now we have twenty percent. Now we have twenty relations with all factions, and an extra campaign, uh, eight percent campaign movement range, which is pretty big. Okay, meat generated. Now here is the secret spice. All right, the ah, the holy shit! What a fucking genius idea. Um, what you do is, is you go into your little diplomacy menu, you go to the Skaven, and you tr you give them, you give them Blackstone Tower. Now, there's a couple reasons you want to do this. The first reason, the first reason is that, A, if you, you if you keep Blackstone Tower, but you don't kill the Skaven, it's going to be full of Skaven corruption. And it's going to be annoying as hell, and there's going to be public order issues, blah, 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 blah. And ogre cities don't make a lot of money. There's no point in holding on to it. So, you can give it to the Skaven. Second reason. This gives you enough relations points with the Skaven to go straight to a defensive alliance. And the reason you want to go to a defensive alliance is because ogre camps automatically raid when they're put down. But, if you are in a defensive alliance with a faction, it does not raid them anymore. So, you can put this in the Skaven's uh, region, and they don't care. They don't get mad because you're not raiding them, because you're in a defensive alliance. And then B, or what am I at, C? I'm on C. C, uh, because we are giving, we have so many extra relations points, we can hit this button, and we can get some free money. And a trade agreement. Because I can tell you right now, if you kill off, if you kill off the Skaven, the Empire's not going to trade with you. They hate your ass. 
So we accept this we accept this offer. And now we are best buddies with the Skaven. And we have a camp in their region, which is not raiding them and they're not getting mad. All according to plan. And Franz See, Franz doesn't care what you do with the Skaven, at least right now. He doesn't care right now. He might care in the future. But he doesn't care that I've allied with the Skaven. Um, and because because I took an extra turn to get that big name that gives me 20 relations with all factions, now Franz doesn't hate me as much, which means it might be longer before he declares war on me, which is pretty important. Okay. I'm thinking I want to do this. Is this in Karak Asgard? It is. Okay. Okay. So my plan here. Now this is this is another little tip. You don't use food. This isn't my ogre's tip video, but some people might not have watched that. You don't use food when you're within range of a camp. I hope I hope my voice isn't being drowned out by the uh, the ogre talking. I'm sorry, if it is. Um, you don't use food while you're in range of the camp. So what I'm doing here is I'm is I'm I'm gonna delete this gold horde building and build this building that gives me meat generated, and I'm gonna have Scrag. He's gonna stand right here where he's in range of the camp. So the camp's gonna get rid of his food upkeep, and the camp is gonna give him seven food while he's in range, and then this city is gonna give him ten food while he's in range. So, Scrag is going to be getting 17 food a turn, which will let him stock up for when he goes out conquering and battling and shit. Also, you can construct an outpost here if you want to. Um, it's kind of up to you. Considering we don't really have many expenses right now, it can be worth the cash, but it's also nice to save money. I think, I think I'm not going to build it just because... I want to save money. Why can't I cancel this? Okay, you have to cancel the outposts from the diplomacy menu. Um, I'm going to save my money because my camp is going to need the money to... I'm going to need four grand to get this camp to tier three. And then once I get the camp to tier three, I'm going to need to build the... Um, I'm going to need extra money to build the building to get to Gorgers. So I'm going to save my money for now. And just skip the outpost. So I'm just waiting on a couple turns here. So right now, I'm going to check my camp. My camp's border is right here where that tree is. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move to right here. Right about here. So this is within range of Carrick Asgaraz, which means I'll be getting extra meat. But it's also I'm also within the range of the camp, so my army is not using any meat. So now I am earning 17 meat a turn, which I can turn into 22 meat a turn when I upgrade this building. Gonna do. This building. Oh and I'm gonna upgrade my camp. And then end my turn. Okay, I just unlocked another big name. So in seven turns, I could change to this big name if I wanted to. But this big name is kind of important because um, this diplomatic relation is nice for. Making sure Franz doesn't declare war on me early. And this campaign movement range is also really nice. Okay, so this is the this is the big turn right here. Alright. We've just unlocked camp foraging. This is super important. So if you look here, you can see that my camp is now getting 40 growth a turn, which is insane. That's double my camp growth right now. Uh, if you don't count this growth building, it's triple my camp growth. 
So camp foraging, it says camp growth plus 20 when in enemy territory, but what it actually means is plus 20 camp growth when in any when in any territory as long as it is not your own. So because this camp is in is in my allies territory, it's earning an extra 20 a turn, basically doubling my camp growth. So I need I need 8 camp growth to get to tier 3. I'm going to have that amount of growth in four turns. Without this tech, it would take me eight turns. So just, just to put into perspective how fast that growth can change your camp's, your, your camp like progression speed. It's huge. To be honest with you, my growth is probably so fast, I don't think I'm going to have the money to upgrade the camp when it gets there. So, just, just, this is, this is one, if you're, if you're a save scummer, you can get super greedy here, and what you can do is, is you can quick save at this point, and you could come over here, this is super greedy though, this is super greedy if you're not a save scummer, you can put your entire army in this camp, and that'll lower its upkeep cost by a ton, and this will give you a huge amount of cash over, over, over the turns, to help you pay for your camp upgrades and your building upgrades. However, if you don't if you don't sit over here near Gristle Valley, if Franz declares war on you, you will not get back here before Franz destroys your city. So it's up to you if you think that's worth it or worth it or not. But um personally, I I would just go over here and you could raid the Empire, but it would make them mad, or you could just wait. You could just wait with your reduced income and just wait it out. So, up to you guys. So anyway, just to wrap up the video, uh, so yeah, either what I just said, you can either sit here by your camp and have it reduce the upkeep of your units. Um, you can also, you can spend one of your growth if you want to and some gold to reduce the upkeep of the camp even more. It's probably worth it if you plan on doing this because the upkeep will go from minus 60% to minus 80%. So you could spend, it's only one growth and you're making 40, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you're doing the other strategy, don't build this and just go sit by Gristle Valley. It's very likely Franz will declare war on you. I don't know when. Um, usually when you're at negative 20 relations, they might not declare war on you for a while, but it's, it's, it's the AI and sometimes you have no idea what they're going to do and you just want to prepare for the worst. So, I'm going to keep saving my money. Um, and, so yeah, basically, you just you just sit here, you build tall, and in this Blackstone Tower camp, this camp will be Tier 3 in just a few turns. Uh, so, I'm at three growth, from, 3 growth now. I'm making 2 growth a turn, so it'll take me, what is that, 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 9, so in 3 turns. In three turns, I'll be able to get this to tier three, and then once you get tier three as as Scrag, you can get this building, the Gorger Cave, and then he he has uh, fifty percent reduced upkeep on Gorgers, so you can just fill Scrag's entire army with Gorgers, and there you go. So you'll by around turn what is that? Probably like turn twenty, you'll have by turn like eighteen or something. I think you'll be recruiting Gorgers. And maybe by like turn, uh, let's see here, turn like 25 maybe, 27, you'll have like a pretty much a full stack of them. Not a full stack, maybe like half a stack. And from there you can pretty much do anything because the Empire has a lot of infantry and Gorgers just a bulldoze them. They just absolutely obliterate them. Unless it's like a ton of Halberdiers. And even Halberdiers I think don't even do that well against Gorgers. So... Later. Yeah, anyway, that is my early game strat for Scrag. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps your early game of Scrag as well. Goodbye.